opinion. But let's move on. Let's move on to topic number six. So the train rolls on. And like I said, hey, we are rolling on fast tonight. We are already in topic number six. We are wasting no time here on Comeback Sports. But if you're new to the show, give us a subscribe. Give us a like. Obviously, you know, this is normally a two-man show. But the shot caller, Pat Flaherty, is at the ALCS championship game between the Red Sox and the Houston Astros right now. Here's some video from him directly tweeted out from him himself on his Twitter account. So, hey, give him a follow, Pat at Pat's Flats there, or you can give me a follow at Coach B Perry 21 on Twitter. But, yeah, he also said he was done tweeting it out. Uh, obviously, the Red Sox are getting routed at this point. But next week, we will be looking to have Pat Flaherty back in his seat as co-host here driving the show. But, hey, tonight's the coach's special, and we're talking a ton of football, a ton of F1. So let's keep diving into it more. And this is a topic I'll tell you that I love tonight. Topic number six, Aaron Rodgers with I own you. And, and he, that's what he said to the Bears fans after he had himself a beautiful rushing touchdown to put himself in the end zone and take control of the game the other night, uh, or I should say the other day against the Chicago Bears. And I'm telling you what, since week one, Aaron Rodgers has gotten better and better and better. That's another guy that you have to put in the conversation for MVP this year because he is looking amazing right now. But at Soldier Field the other day, after he scored that touchdown, he looks up into the fans and says, I own you. I've owned you my whole life. I'll continue to own you. And he's talking directly to the Bears fans there. And it's it's no lie if you look back at it and look at the stats. He routinely has beat the Chicago Bears. They haven't really been able to actually test him at all in his career. And once again, he's just proving it here again on Sunday that he owns the Chicago Bears and owns Soldier Field. And it was funny. Tom Brady even had a comment about it being like, I, I guess Aaron Rodgers is now part owner of Soldier Field and the Chicago Bears. He just said it the other day. And it's true. Honestly, it's really true. If you look back at it and if we got any Chicago Bears fans, I think you'd be hard pressed to argue that Aaron Rodgers hasn't owned your team throughout his career and just dominated the Chicago bears. And he did it again on Sunday, but I'll tell you what, right from the words of ACE Rogers himself, he said that after he scored that touchdown, when he looked up into the stands, there was a lady giving him the double bird, giving him the double bird. And if you look back at it, other people have tweeted out a picture of that from the stands. There was multiple people giving Aaron Rodgers the double bird. And I'm sure they were yelling expletives. And he said, that's kind of what fueled his answer to them with him saying, I own you and I've owned you my whole career and I still own you. And so I completely get it. I love it. I think he's one of obviously the best quarterbacks in the NFL, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. And he's proven that against the Chicago bears. He's proven that against the NFL and every other opponent in the NFL. And so I love this. I love the confidence that Aaron Rodgers carries, the swagger that he carries, the leadership attributes that Aaron Rodgers has. Like I said, you can't beat this. And this is also some top tier entertainment, in my opinion, as well. When you're absolutely trolling the fans there live after they throw you the double bird. So I love this move from Aaron Rodgers. I think it's absolute world class. And like I said, I don't think anybody can argue with the fact that he has owned the Chicago Bears throughout his career. So, hey, cheers to you, Aaron Rodgers, and cheers to the Green Bay Packers having a great season right now. But let's move on tonight to topic number seven. 